Can I ask the media person to please respect social distancing protocol and space out as they come and find space? His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic, oh, has arrived that. and is going around acknowledging those present. Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. Shall we please keep standing for the national anthem? Thank you. Shall we remain standing for the opening prayer, which will be given by the Reverend Sister Aruna of St. Anne's Del Senior High School. Let's go front. Oh, okay. My soul glorifies the Lord for all the wonders that God has done oh, when you finish, when you finish, when you finish. in our lives. God, our loving Father, we praise and thank you for this day of yours. We thank you for our mother country, Ghana. We thank you for our president who has taken initiative of starting this free SHS and helping many boys and girls to do their studies well to have the better future. We thank you, Lord, for all the personalities the chief guest present over the ISIS. We thank you for every person present in this campus and for this program. Lord, as we are here, be with us through all this program. We especially offer our president, vice president, and the education minister, all those who are striving to bring progress in this country. We thank you, Lord, in a special way. Bless all our ministers, those who are working forward to bring, make our country, Ghana, a prosperous one. Be with them in all the things that they are doing. Guide them and bless them. Be with us throughout this program in all our deliberations. We thank you in a special way for the favor that you have blessed all senior high schools with the buses. Let me use these instruments and bring better growth and better future citizens of this country. I ask this prayer to your Christ, your name, O oh Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning once again.
before I invite the Chief Director of the Ministry of Education to give us a welcome address, I'd like to quickly, quickly acknowledge those on the days behind me. I'd like to introduce the Director General of the Ghana Education Service, Professor Kwesu Ubuwa Next is the Chairman of the GES Council, Mr. Michael Nsua. And then Professor Pesi, Professor Pesi Yanka, who is the Minister of State in charge of tertiary education. Then the Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Mazio Opoku And of course, His Excellency the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Mbaouni. My name is Rodney Nkrumah Boateng um, of the Ministry of Education and I shall be um, your MC for this short event. May I now invite the Chief Director of the Ministry of Education to give us his welcome address. Chief of Staff, I can see she's not here. The Honorable Minister of Education, Honorable Deputy Ministers of Education, Honorable Members of Parliament, the Minister of State in charge of tertiary education. Chairman of the Ghana Education Service Council, the Director General of Ghana Education Service, directors and staff of the Ministry of Education and Ghana Education Service, heads of agencies, heads of selected senior high schools here in assembled. Friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you to this morning's event. At the Ministry of Education, we are perceiving various reforms in education under the able leadership of the Honorable Minister. Dr. Matthew Opoku Prepte, in a bid to improve learning outcomes in our schools in order to drive national development. In our senior high schools in particular, measures aimed at improving access and delivering quality education in particular are underway and the smooth and efficient running of these schools is very crucial to this goal. The passes that we handed over to today to the schools, selected schools, form part of a comprehensive plan to equip our education center with the necessary logistics education delivery in this country and I am very confident that these passes will be put to good use for the effective running of our schools. Ladies and gentlemen, let me once again formally welcome all of you on behalf of my minister to this important ceremony. Thank you so much for your time and attention. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is not, thank you very much, Chief Director. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to invite the Honorable Minister of State, the Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Matthew Poku Premda, who is also the Member of Parliament for Malaysia South, to deliver his introductory remarks. Thank you. The Chairman of the Ghana Education Service Board Council, the Director General of Ghana Education Service, the Administrator and Deputy Administrator of JetFan, the Deputy Minister of Education in charge of Technical Vocation Education and Training, Chief Director and Directors of the Ministry of Education and Ghana Education Service, heads of various schools coming here and their various drivers and invited guests. In the presence of the Melodious Police Bank, if you know the square. We are here to do but a short ceremony. Not long ago, His Excellency the Vice President created a location where pickups were given to all district directors of education and motorcycles to circuit supervisors in the six northern regions. Need I remind people here that when the government took office in 2017, it had made education its top priority. And His Excellency the President did not want to be a president of activities, a president of words, a president of rhetoric, or a president of propaganda. He charged those of us, the appointed ministers, to concentrate on only one thing, but to deliver on our promises. He believed that education was the game changer. And it was the education that would allow a charcoal seller's daughter to be in the same classroom and even be better than a doctor's son. And irrespective of people's circumstance, our government was poised to only do one thing, to give a hand up and a level playing field to all Ghanaian children. This nation has witnessed the Free Senior High School project with the Vice President. I do recall the 47 adverts that were made to undermine the Free Senior High School program in 2012. I do recall a famous statement that if Free SHS was doable, this government probably is better than the government. Now, the final, the first entrance of the CSHS program are running, are writing, the Awasi and thank God. And as part of the program, all examination fees, and I mean all examination fees, including registration and practical fees, have been absorbed by government. And, and before I finish, it includes technical and vocational education and training institutions as well. In March, like I said, the town municipal and district directors of education, as well as some of the circuit supervisors and agencies in the ministry. We believe these are essential, essential parts of the work you do. Because if you're a circuit supervisor and you cannot travel within your circuit, you cannot deliver on your work. And if you're a district director and you cannot travel within your district, likewise you cannot. Just as schools, if you can't have the vehicles to transport students and staff in and out of various functions, the school may not have been functioning very well. Today's event is yet another demonstration of the government and His Excellency and the Vice President passionate commitment to the education sector. Just a few days ago, His Excellency the Vice President, we've had men of God come out and say, but for education, they would never have been where we are. So any government attempt to stifle or to undermine education should be seen as a government not interested in the progress of the country. Today, we are here for his vice, the Vice President to hand over buses to the school running, 100 buses to the school running of our schools. Very soon, I was just telling him 
if you cast your eyes around, you will see some more pickups and uh, four wheel drives also coming. This is all in furtherance of government's agenda to provide schools that especially didn't have the buses in 2016 also have their turn of having the buses. And to top it up, we are giving pickups so that the school administration can work. I do recall sometime around 2016, around the same season, one beautiful gentleman asked me, I don't know how somebody can sit and ask 170 questions. And those 470 questions were put to NBC. Now do answer these questions and prove yourself as that you are not corrupt or you are not incompetent. None to date was answered. Lo and behold, that gentleman became the vice president of the land. Just a few days ago, I don't know if the number is right, he's asked 50 questions to the incoming duo of John and Jane. We are yet to receive answers. And I do believe four years down the line, more than 100 questions will come and you shall never get answers. The reason is simple. The truth can never be hidden. In over three and a half years, this government, I can boldly say, has outperformed his successor government, who reigned for eight years. There is not a single metric, apart from incompetence and corruption, that can be compared to the achievements of this government. In conclusion, I have the pleasure and honor to introduce the hard-working and competent Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, who is representing His Excellency the President. His Vice President, Dr. Alaji Maoni. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Honorable Minister for Education, Dr. Matthew Popo Prente, the Minister of State for Tertiary Education, Professor. Yanka, the Deputy Minister for Education, the Director General of the Ghana Education Service, the Chairman of the Board of the Ghana Education Service, the Administrator of the GET Fund, heads and, ag and agencies, heads of agencies of the Ministry of Education, heads of selected senior high schools here in Garden. Ime, Name, special invited guests, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to join you here this morning for this short but important ceremony. I bring you warm greetings from His Excellency the President, Nana Adudankwa Akufuaru. The President is currently in the northern region and he will return um, hopefully later today but he asked me to stand in his stead for this very important ceremony ladies and gentlemen in march this year i had the honor of handing over a number of vehicles for our education sector on behalf of president nana Kufuad. And this was in fulfillment of his commitment, not only to increase access to education, but also to ensure that we provide complementary resources to ensure that we deliver quality education to our people.
First, I handed over 365 double carbon pickup trucks in the country, 100 of which would be distributed soon. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are gathered here in fulfillment of that promise to distribute the 100 buses because we have a president who is fully committed to education of our children and who believes in keeping his word. The 100 schools that have been selected for today's presentation are drawn from the Ahafo, Oti, Bono, Bono East, Northeast, Northern, Savannah, Upper East and Upper West regions. In the interest of fairness, schools that received buses in 2016 are not included in the distribution. However, the remainder of the buses, we have 250 buses yet to arrive, about 150 of them are already on the high seas, and when they come in, other regions will also get their, their share. The President believes that the significant educational reforms that his government has rolled out since 2017 will come to naught if we do not provide the necessary logistical support for our schools to run effectively as they deliver their mandate for the Ghanaian child. Our schools have various challenges in the discharge of the administrative functions and these vehicles, I'm sure, will go a long way to help address some of these challenges. We are already addressing the challenges of infrastructure with a massive build-up of infrastructure across our senior high schools. Ladies and gentlemen, in the past, vehicles were procured without really any plan to pay for them. And that put a great st strain on vendors and left the ministry wallowing in debt. I am very happy to emphasize this point, that these vehicles that you are witnessing that we are going to distribute here have been fully paid for. Fully paid for. So uh, nobody is going to be knocking on the doors of the ministry to collect their, their, uh, their debt. I commend the Minister for Ed Education, the indefatigable Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, for his stewardship at the ministry. I also commend the Minister for Finance, who found the money to support this project. I urge the school heads who are being given responsibility for these vehicles to ensure that they are taken good care of so that they can serve the purpose for which they were imported. It is your duty to ensure that they are put to good use and not misused. Ladies and gentlemen, this government will continue to invest in education of its citizens because it is the right thing to do. We will continue to invest in our frontline managers in our educational institutions. They are central to any education reform we seek to pursue and we must equip them with the necessary tools to enhance their work. We will not relent on this commitment. And the key to the transformation of this country is education. And that is why Nana Kofuado has kept his focus on education. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and my privilege on behalf of the president, Nana Dodanko Akofuado, to duly declare the 100 buses, 100, 100 buses handed over. I thank you all for your time and attention. May Allah bless us all. God bless our whole man. The, the Vice President will now proceed to hand over symbolically the buses to the Director General. Can I ask that aside those on the podium, for social distance purposes, can you please remain in your seats and especially the media to avoid overcrowding around the buses? Thank you.
Social distancing, please. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> Please be seated. I will now invite the Director General of the Ghana Education Service, Professor Kwesi Ugoa Mamba, to come and deliver a short message of appreciation to the government. <laughs> Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, Dr. Mahmoud Balunia, the Honorable Minister of Education, Honorable Minister of State, Honorable Deputy Minister. Directors and staff of the Ministry of Education and Ghana Education Service here present, heads of agencies, especially head fund, we wish to take this opportunity to sincerely thank the President and his government for the great support and special interests that they've shown in education. His Excellency, the last time that we met, I indicated that, like Oliver, we are asking for more. I thought you did not hear. But you heard, and you heard it right. And that's how come this morning you gathered here and you've done this special presentation to us. It is either by design or by some coincidence that at the time that we are presenting buses to the northern sector schools, the president is equally in the north on special duties. We are highly grateful to you and the government. As you rightly said, which was also retreated by my minister, the interest that the government has shown in education 
to ensure quality education goes beyond buses. For the first time, we've had teaching and learning materials to our secondary schools, the infrastructure we are building to catch up. Your Excellency, what is even interesting is that the schools that we have claimed, we put them under the door. So we find ourselves in some dilemma. Now they want most policy of free senior high school catches up on everyone. We cannot say more. But all that we need to say is that we are highly grateful and we wish, as the minister has indicated, very soon when you are called upon to come and support us to also give out the pickups and the four-wheel drives, you will qualify in time to come. We are very highly grateful. To the minister who, even before COVID, will not let us know the difference between Saturday and Sunday, <laughs> we are very grateful to him. He is resource-oriented and his results is really showing. To all those who have been part of this, the Barbers and the Rodneys and all that and Timines, we are very grateful for the support that we continue to get. Yes, of course. Honorable Minister, the Vice President, we want to assure you that we will put these buses good use. I also want to assure you that if for any reason any of our heads decide to use the buses for some other purposes, trust that we will crack their head. On behalf of my council chair and the management of Ghana Education Service, we want to thank you very much for this special gift to us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Director General. Uh, just one announcement before we wrap up uh, this morning event. All school heads, all school heads gathered here for their buses. Because of COVID-19 situation, we cannot have you gather uh, around the registration desk. So every head School head should please identify his or her school bus and then wait by the bus. And the transport officials will come around and take you through the new school processes. All school heads, please identify your school. I'm sure you've probably seen them already. But identify your school buses and wait beside those buses for the transport officials to take you through the relevant formalities um, for the director general to then hand over the bus to you. We will now have the closing prayer, and then after the closing prayer, we'll remain standing, take the um, national anthem, and then the vice president uh, will depart, the which will all depart. So I would like to call Alaji Seydou Tungbani, headmaster of Laura Senior High School, the closing prayer. Shall we please rise? <laughs> His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, all protocols duly observed. Can we pray? Almighty Allah, we thank, our, we thank you for this day and for our lives. We thank you for this singular occasion on the distribution of buses to selected senior high schools in our country. Almighty Allah, what can we say but to say thank you to the leadership of this government for thinking about education, may you grant them the wisdom and understanding and where we are to continue to deliver in education so that the young ones that have been entrusted under our care can have an education and become people of substance in future. Almighty Allah, we also thank you for this day and we pray that all gathered here will go back to their respective abodes in peace. Almighty Allah, we also pray and ask for traveling message for our headmasters and drivers who have traveled far and wide to this place to take delivery of their buses, may you send them home to their respective homes safely. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا صراط المستقيم صراط الذين أمت عليهم غير مكذوب عليهم ولا دالين آمين very much ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of the event and his excellency the vice president is now taking his leave thank you so much vice president thank you for your presence and once again all students please wait by your buses thank you very much for your presence here this morning god bless you all have a pleasant day Ah uh, yes, the interview did. <laughs> did you? Did you? Did you interviews? Interviews? Oh, just one or two, one or two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh -huh. hey. Hey, live. 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 Big, big, big platform. Say my body now. Ah, me not there. Me see not there. Let me finish this. Let me stop it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna stop it.